Yo, what's up, guys? Today's video is a video I plan to make for a while now. DeMar DeRozan is reportedly open to sign with the Chicago Bulls or the New York Knicks in this upcoming summer. But before I jump into today's video, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel and leave a quick like on today's video. And I also just want to say thank you guys for all the support. The YouTube channel just hit 3 million total views. I just want to say thank you guys to all my subscribers, anyone that watches any of these videos, anyone that just leaves a quick like on these videos or any comments below today's video. I wouldn't be here without you guys, and I plan to continue to post videos throughout the whole offseason, keeping you guys updated on any Chicago Bulls news and rumors. And one last thing before I jump into today's video, make sure you guys head over to my community tab and go vote if you guys want the Chicago Bulls to target DeMar DeRozan in this upcoming offseason. Currently, it's about almost 50-50 split, so definitely go vote on that, leave a quick like, and let's just jump right into it. And honestly, since the NBA trade deadline, I've seen a lot of comments in my past videos about how a lot of Bulls fans want the Chicago Bulls to target DeMar DeRozan in this upcoming summer. I'm going to be giving my opinion later in today's video about that and just breaking it down because I'd say about a month or two ago around the trade deadline, I kind of touched on this topic. But either way, let's just jump right into it because about two months ago around the trade deadline, there were some rumors about the Bulls being interested in trading for DeMar DeRozan. And I'm going to be honest, I didn't really believe that rumor, but now looking back onto that rumor, I kind of do see it. I mean, the Bulls were looking to obviously to upgrade this roster. You know, of course, they'd never traded for DeMar DeRozan and they traded for Vooch, which is another all-star to pair with Zach. But about two months ago, some rumors came out about how the Bulls front office wanted a DeMar DeRozan trade. And not only did they want to trade for DeMar, they believed if they did trade for DeMar DeRozan, that that would push them into the playoffs. Of course, that did not work out and they traded for Vooch and we still didn't end up making the playoffs, which I'm still fine with that trade. I'm still happy with the Vooch trade. You know, I know a lot of Bulls fans are still mad that we didn't make the playoffs, but I saw some reports that came out recently that, that said the Bulls only had one day of practice since the trade deadline. The Chicago Bulls were playing a bunch of games. They didn't have time to practice. You know, Zach got COVID or whatever, then the NBA wouldn't let him play. There's enough excuses. I could just keep going on and on it with excuses. But either way, I'm just happy that the Bulls traded for Vooch, even though we didn't make the playoffs. That trade and hopefully their chemistry continues to grow this upcoming in this upcoming offseason. And we could be a playoff team in next season. And since then, some more rumors came out about how DeMar DeRozan is ready to move on from the San Antonio Spurs and he wants to move on to the Eastern Conference. And some teams that are expected to be interested in DeMar are, of course, the New York Knicks, Chicago Bulls, and Orlando Magic. You know, this doesn't surprise me, but at the same time, do the Bull, are the Bulls still, like, I'd say, interested in him since we traded for Vooch? You know, I know his fit with us would definitely be interesting as well. And just like I was talked about in my last video that I posted the other day, definitely go give it a watch if you guys missed it. I was talking about how the Chicago Bulls are reportedly expected to make a lot of change in this upcoming offseason. And while I do expect a lot of changes to, to happen to this roster, it's going to be very interesting to see if the Bulls target, say, Lonzo Ball or DeMar DeRozan, because I touched on this topic in my last video. And say the Bulls are truly interested in Lonzo or DeMar, they're going to have to trade or cut Thaddeus Young and Thomas Sadoransky to have anywhere from 24 to 25 million dollars in cap space in this upcoming offseason. Of course, they could possibly trade a Minu, you know, package him with a future, I'd say, draft pick and free up 10 more million dollars in cap space. But it's going to it's definitely going to be interesting to see what our tourist does. So before I jump into DeMar's stats and his fit with the Chicago Bulls and just my opinion on if I think the Bulls should target him, definitely leave some comments and questions below today's video. If you guys want the Bulls to target DeMar DeRozan, you know, like I said, if we target DeMar or Alonzo, we would more than likely have to cut Sato or Thaddeus Young or possibly trade Aminu with like maybe a young player or a future draft pick to free up more cap space. And in 61 games for the Spurs this season, he pretty much averaged 22 points a game, 4 total rebounds, and 7 assists a game, shooting about 50% from the field, which is very efficient. You know, if you know DeMar DeRozan's game, he's more of a post player and mid-range player. And his three-point shooting percentage is not good at all. He's shooting about 26% from three, also shooting about 88% from the free throw line. You know, from the field, he's very efficient other than the three-point line. And that's where his fit is very interesting, especially because him and Zach both play the same position as well. Definitely leave some comments and questions below today's video about that as well. 
and in one of my past videos i was talking about how the bulls are interested in bradley beal as well and you know even though bradley beal and zach and demar all play the same position i believe they could still make it work you know all-star players always learn how to figure out or most of the time learn how to play off other great players you know, of course, other than DeMar being in the same position as Zach Levine, I could see him running the point guard position for the Bulls or Zach Levine. And if you guys forgot, Zach was running the point guard position with the Minnesota Timberwolves a few years back. And I was looking at some highlights and watching some Spurs games and just highlights in general. DeMar was the point guard for that offense. You know, even though he's a shooting guard, he can play the point guard position. He's a 6'6 shooting guard, and he also averaged seven assists a game. His playmaking is in incredible. He's a great post player, has a beautiful mid-range jumper, and he's just very crafty around the basket as well. You know, I was watching highlights, and he ran the offense. You know, he was making the plays, handling the ball for the most part. So I believe him and Zach could make it work. But at the same time, I don't see the Chicago Bulls targeting him just because I expect him to want a lot of money. And I don't see the Bulls wanting to get rid of Thaddeus Young. You know, I definitely could see a way that the Bulls possibly trade Thaddeus or cut him or get rid of Sato and Aminu to make cap space for Lonzo Ball. But I don't see DeMar DeRozan. His whole fit with the Chicago Bulls would be interesting. He's also kind of getting up there in age. And if we say we do trade or cut Thad, you know, he's one of Zach's best friends. That could bother him as well. So realistically, I don't see the Chicago Bulls targeting DeMar, especially because in next offseason, there's going to be a lot of big name free agents. And Casey Johnson was kind of talking about this the other day. I plan to make a future video on it, how the Bulls might not sign any big name free agents in this upcoming summer and wait till 2022 to try and get someone like Kevin Durant or Bradley Beal to come to this roster or in this team. So deep down, I don't see the Bulls targeting DeMar. Say we do, I, w I wouldn't be mad. You know, I saw the Wizards are expected to target him as well. And of course, the Knicks, they have the most cap space in this upcoming offseason. So it's definitely going to be interesting to see what our Taurus and our new front office do. Say we just sign a bunch of like 3 and D type players and just see how Zach and Vooch run it back next season. Possibly target Lonzo Ball, maybe go out of the water and sign DeMar DeRozan. I'm not sure, but I'm going to be keeping you guys updated on any Bulls news and rumors. I'm sure DeMar would love to come to the Bulls or New York Knicks in this upcoming offseason. Definitely leave any comments or questions about any of the topics I talked about in today's video. Thank you guys for all the support recently. Have a good one.